Whoever prefers life to death, or happiness to suffering, well-being to misery, must defend without compromise the freedom of his people and his own. And of course, likewise in the same manner, whoever says that the freedom of a people must not be received, must not be awarded, must not be given, must without compromise accept the sacrifice, the repercussion, when it knocks on his door. The person should stand strongly with his two legs, ready to accept the repercussion that comes to him. And that is not too far from what we've been seeing of late. Some of them who secretly participated in the extraordinary rendition of Onyenduma Zinnam the Khan are really, really facing with those sacrifices now. Wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and lovers of freedom all over the globe, we welcome you back once again to our News Digest. This day, Saturday, the 8th day of October 2022. We must say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on your time zone, this is coming from the desk of Nuki Bobby. How we bring your reliable news across Biafra land. Of course, we want to implore you to hit the subscribe button as well as to share our videos and give us some up. Should you like what we are doing here? There is this adage that says that whatever goes around must surely come around. But of course, I don't know if I'll be able to attribute it to this current situation. Information on our desk has it that the Nigerian ambassador to Kenya, Yunusa, is not really down on which year, as uh, he is suffering through currently. Of course, there is another Igbo adage that says any man who is ready to eat the testicle of a ram must be prepared for her near. So today he is down, um, but there is one major thing about this man. He played a vital role in the adoption as well as the rendition of Mazin Namde. Can you recall that he is Nigerian ambassador to Kenya? So information, an accurate information, has it that this Yunusa, he is from Yubo State, Yubo State in Nigeria. He hosted most of the Nigerian intelligence officers that came for it. In his own apartment, in his own house, he planned the deal. He was one of the top planners of that particular question that keep Nigeria the way it is today. He utilized some of his own resources. He was the one who did the arrangement with some of the more people to bring it. All the millions that went into it, this man really planned it. But what is the situation today? He is on which year? And this is that. And they recall some of the unusual things that has been happening since that Mazin Namde Kano's adoption. Recall that the Kenyan ambassador to Nigeria, within just a few months after that adoption, when he came and said that nothing like that happened, that Kenya has no idea, you know, that they are not aware, he gave up. I don't know if I would say that Chukwabiam is visiting there one after the other. This is the current situation. That is, that is why we say, that which goes around most surely comes around. Of course, if you say that people will not have their freedom, if you become a stumbling block to freedom, which Ukwokikabiyama has given to everyone, you yourself, you are free. But you say that another person will not be free. You become a stumbling block. What do you think that will happen to you? And you are determined to defend your action. Freedom is a natural cause. And when you start working against freedom of a people, that means you have a long way to go. All following that is an IPOB press release that was published today, Saturday, the eighth day of October 2022. I'd just like to reemphasize it again to, for the people to understand what IPOB pertains and the stand of IPOB as regards to the Zoological Republic election. The caption says IPOB has no business with Nigerian election and their campaign. We, the global movement and the family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, led and commanded by Onyenduma Zinnamde Kano, is very much aware that the Nigerian government is both directly and indirectly sponsoring election violence in Biafra land with intention to blackmail the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB internationally and anti-democratic process. The IPOB leadership has for umpteenth time stated unequivocally 
that part of our modus operandi in our agitation for freedom has never been, is not, and will not be violent agitation. This explains our consistent demand for the UN to organize a referendum in the Biafran territory for the Biafran people to determine their destiny. To this effect, IPOB is neither contemplating nor will it encourage or sponsor any or anyone or group to disrupt the Zoological Republic selection process called election. IPOB has constantly made it public that we have no interest in and cannot legitimize uh, the aberration they call election in Nigeria. We are a focused, determined, and disciplined freedom fighting movement, not political talks, and IPOB is devoted to the cause of liberating our people for subjugation and from modern day slavery and neocolonialism, and we not allow ourselves to be distracted from this very objective. IPOB have published a lengthy press here. We just cut out some part that is necessary to reemphasize, to reiterate the stand of IPOB. Now I went on to pick another point that says our demand, that is IPOB, are simple. Release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namdio Kuchukukano, unconditionally. And two, face a referendum date for Biafrans to decide their fate, either for freedom of a sovereign state of Biafra or nation, or a permanent state with a fully controlled Republic of Zoological. So this is that. And uh, we are just like reminding the world and the people to know what IPOB portends again, that we at IPOB do not participate in the Zoological election. There are some of the, some of them, maybe they are stooge who claim to be IPOB members who have been saying that the DOS, the leadership, are working with the Nigerian government. But this is what IPOB deemed necessary to correct again. Such a thing does not exist, and that is why we continue doing our best to make sure that the request of IPOB is granted. To recall it again, what is the request? To release Mazen Namdekano conditionally, and two, to conduct referendum. Now, in United Kingdom, referendum is about going on, Scotland, Wales, as well as the Northern Ireland. They are about to go their separate ways. And other countries, they are looking towards it, trying to look into it. But when it comes to the issue of Biafra, they want to turn their ways, their eyes out. But then, we must continue. And our point is what we are requesting. Wonderful people, we thank you for listening. We must maintain that we are Biafrans. And in Biafra land is where we have our citizenship. And until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. May you remain safe and place wherever you may be.